who does it they can't see the vision boy they must be out of focus that's a real hot album homie i wonder who wrote it oh shit oh they hello everyone welcome to my photoshop tutorial on how to make animated gifs well as you can see i already have a document open let's get started the first thing I want to show you is to go to image, image size. You can see my document size is 1200 by 500 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Well, GIF is a file format we usually share through the internet. So we normally don't need the image to be super high resolution. And it's a good idea to keep the image size rather light. Now let's take a look at the layers window. I have this text layer created that says reborn and it has a couple of layer effects applied. You can add a layer effects by hitting the FX icon on the bottom of the layers window. And these are pretty cool effects to play with. So the basic idea of creating an animation or animated GIFs is you will have many frames and each frame it slightly changes. And once you play back all these frames in a fast speed, they will look like a moving image or an animation. What we are going to do here is we're going to make duplications of this text layer and make some changes to each layer. And then we're going to make the animation out of these layers. There are two quick ways to duplicate layer in Photoshop. One is to click and drag a layer and drop it on the plus icon on your layers window. The other one is simply on your keyboard, hit Command or Control J. Well, now I'm going to hide my first text layer and I'll keep it there just in case I want to go back to the text and make some edits. For this new layer, I'm going to right click and rasterize it so I can use my tools in Photoshop to edit this layer. And I'm going to create a new layer. Now I'm going to use the smudge tool to edit this layer. Do this. And to make a new copy and make some new changes. All right, I think what I'm also going to do is to slightly change the gradient. Now we have these layers ready as frames. The actual window we're going to use to make the animation is called Timeline. Here on your timeline window, if you see something says create video timeline, just click the drop down button and select create frame animation. And then we're going to click on this button. Here you can see Photoshop has already created the first frame for us based on what we have on the document. And what we're going to do since we already made each frame on one layer, we're going to hit the option button and we're going to select make frames from layers. Okay. Now when I click on each frame, you can see it's also showing me which layer is being showed accordingly. Right. And I think we don't really need the first one because that was a backup layer. Now we're going to hit the play button in order to view the animation. Here we go. And it seems a little too fast for me. What I'm going to do is to select all the frames. And as you can see, now it says zero second, and I'm going to change it to 0.1 seconds. This basically means one frame is going to play back for 0.1 second. And now you can see it's much slower. 
Now I want to show you how to make a seamless looping animation. Basically what we're going to do is we will select all the frames except for the first one and the last one. In this case, it's number two, three, and four. And we will drag and drop these layers onto the plus sign to duplicate them. And then drag them so that it's after the last one. And the last step we're going to do is to go to option, reverse frames. Now when we play back, it's playing a seamless loop. The other trick you can do is to select on the frame, you want the animation to stay longer and change the delay speed to a slightly longer time. The other function to show you is this icon here that can create twins animation frames. And how we can use it is basically select two frames, and I'm holding down shift on my keyboard to select both of them. And once I click on this, it will basically create these in-between frames to blend the two frames I just selected. And here, I think I'm gonna just create one frame in between and I'll hit OK and now you can see it created this new in-between frame. Sometimes this is a helpful tool you can use to make your animation look smoother. All right, I think I'm pretty happy about my animated GIF. And the last thing I want to point it out to you is on the bottom of your timeline, there is an option for looping options. Normally it's selected as forever, which means once your GIF is showed up in a web browser, it's just going to play back forever, right? So it's like endlessly looping. If you select it as once, then the GIF is going to only play back once. All right, that's all for how to edit animated GIFs in the timeline window. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to export it. Oh shit, oh day, pray them niggas go away. Oh, we sell the clowns around it, look like circus solo. This is not the album either, these are just.